Hey guys, so recently I've been informed that, you know, since I've been doing a lot of videos about hibernation and brumation recently, I thought I'd talk about the differences between these. This has actually been requested by multiple people, and that is one of the reasons I'm making this. But the main reason, that I'm the message I'm trying to get out there, is whether there are differences between hibernation and brumation, and if there are, like, what these differences are. So after doing some research, I noted that there were actually two main camps on this subject. There were those who thought that brumation and hibernation were pretty much the same thing, and those who felt that they, while sim being similar, they are quite different. Kind of like apples and oranges, which are both fruit, but taste completely different. Now, most people in the reptile industry use brumation and hibernation separately as different terms, and there are quite a few differences between these two terms. The first one being that brumation is commonly associated with reptiles like this turtle, or like the snake, or like this leopard gecko, while hibernation is usually associated with mammals like this chipmunk. However, there are other animals that hibernate, like honeybees as well as ants. Now the next difference I'll talk about, which is probably the biggest one, is that in hibernation, um, the animal will actually con just sleep and stop like having any activity whatsoever. Like it will not wake up to drink or eat or anything. It will just sleep for the entirety of winter. Now this is different from brumation, because in brumation, the animal will actually like if it's a really sunny day out, for example, um, a brumating turtle will still go out and bask, and if uh, Sometimes a uh, brumating animal will just, you know, will still wake up from time to time just to walk around um, and it will still be active. And because of this, it doesn't live entirely off of its fat reserve, which means it's still actively foraging for food in this time. And in, while in hibernation, the animal just stops drinking and brumation, they still have to go out fairly often to forage for water. Now, keep in mind that there is still quite a large number of people that do consider these two words to be the same. And they're not just, like, uneducated, they are people that have done their own research and concluded from, like, the history of the word brumation that since hibernation came first, back in the day, hibernation actually stood for all of these things, like, whether a reptile <laughs> slept sometimes and then woke up to find water, or a chipmunk just slept through the entire winter, that was, the, both of these instances is hibernation. And they're saying this, another reason they're saying they're the same is because... There's no clear-cut line between brumation and hibernation. There are animals like bears, which sleep through almost the entire winter, but still do get up occasionally in some occasions. And then there are animals that sleep through the entire winter, and animals that become less active, but still often go out foraging for either water or food. So these people think that hibernation should just stand for the entire category. So if there's any animal that becomes less active to any degree during winter, then it should be called hibernation, and because of this, there would be no more need of the word brumation. So because these two camps do both make great points, I find that this honestly is down to personal preference sometimes. Now, personally, um, I do distinguish between the two terms. I feel like it's better to have a more specific term for animals that don't actually get up during the winter and just sleep through all of it, uh, versus animals that do actually get up to forage for food or water. And so yeah, I do use the words brumation and hibernation separately, but it's really all up to you. So thank you guys for watching. Now hopefully you learned something today, and as usual, like, don't just blindly trust what I say. You can do your own research on this topic. There have been a lot of articles published both in books and on the internet about this, about the difference between brumation and hibernation and whether there is a difference at all. And it is kind of an interesting topic, so if you want to learn more, you know, feel free to browse the web and uh, find your own sources. So if you did find this video useful in any way, hopefully you'll subscribe and leave a like down below. That way you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Well, that's it for today. Bye!